thought about it I'm gonna put together a video about my uh, road trip to Russia I never did really get to tell my dad about that so if he's listening uh, he'll he'll be he'll get it too so uh, I may name it uh, my Russian road trip or the kid with the candy bar I'll have to explain the kid with the candy bar part before because it won't make any sense to you maybe even after I explain it uh, but it'll have uh, it has an interest two or three interesting minutes of uh, should have uh, pictures of the Kremlin and Moscow on the Ingalls Air Force Base the bear bomber a guillotine uh, so stay tuned for that I hope you like it Meerkat. towards the end of the trip um, we took our trip down to Ingalls Air Force Base, which I'll show you in the slides. And one of the things that our escorts did, they took us to a, a small town outside Ingalls Air Force Base, which is about 450 miles from Moscow. They took us to a, uh, a production, a local production of Swan Lake, I think it was. And um, it was a very small town, very poor. Uh, Russia was having a lot of troubles at this particular time economically. So we went into this small auditorium and we were seated uh, right up front, um, uh, I think two rows from the, to the front. And as, after, after we got seated, they brought some kindergartners in. and they looked about, about six or seven years old. And um, what the kindergartners got as they came in really put a big smile on her face. They got a, they gave them a big candy bar. Well, right before uh, the Swan Lake thing started, this kid turned around in his seat and he looked at me with the big, uh, big eyes and he gave me my, he gave me the candy bar. Uh, I wasn't really sure what I should do, but this is what I did. I reached over on my uniform and I pulled my missile badge off and I gave it to the young man and he seemed very pleased with that. But I did more than that that day. Uh, that day is the day I decided to, to, I retired shortly after that and got out of the Air Force. I decided that uh, I could no longer be that guy that would pull the trigger on those nuclear weapons. So. If that kid's out there, he's probably 35, 36 years old right now. And kid, at least you and I made peace. And I carried that damn candy bar around, that Mars candy bar, for around 20, 25 years before I lost it. So, thanks a lot, kid. Shots of us getting ready to go on a train down to Ingalls Air Force Base. Which was quite a long ways. Drank a lot of vodka on the way. This was a... The treaty was basically we destroy some of our B-52s and they destroy some of their their uh, bear bombers, and that's what this guillotine's doing. It's chopping them up in pieces. It drops from about 75 feet to 15 tons. So it takes a plane that looks like this, and very shortly leaves it to a plane that kind of looks like that. This is a picture of the team. That's me in the far left uh, by the lady in the purple. Join me and my friends at Flat Cap Cafe Racer for riding and racing. Please subscribe.